There are five pillars. And then to make people remember it, we call it the attire of corporate governance. This attire is an uh, acronym. So the pillars are the following. The core pillar is what we call accountability. So the A in the attire is accountability. And this is simply means answering back for a duty you have been given. So whether you are in the public sector, whether you are in the private sector, whether you are an NGO, you must have accountability in your governance. Then T is transparency. Transparency is actually accountability in a way, but it deals with two aspects. The truthfulness of the reporting and the um, um, ambiguity. So when you are accounting, transparency wants you to be unambiguous and truthful. People do report, people do account, but if it is false accounting, it's meaningless. You're not transparent. Then the third pillar is what we call integrity. This is being honest. It does, deals with honesty. In fact, there's a saying that in your book of wisdom, if you to write a book of wisdom yourself, the first chapter must be integrity. So you must be honest, transparent in doing your accountability. Then the fourth is the R in the attire. That is responsibility. You don't need to be pushed to account. And responsibility goes beyond yourself. Responsibility looks at sustainability of your company. For example, is what I'm doing responsible in as far as environmental sustainability is concerned? So responsibility here is not only giving your time, but giving your time such that the earth is sustainable. The operations of your company continues to serve the people, to serve society. Then finally, is excellence. Excellence is the ability of exceeding expectations. The moment you lean on the pillars, the five pillars of corporate governance, you will establish public trust. And this is what most organizations have lost now in Uganda. The public trust and confidence. Your customers loyalty. Because they trust you. Okay? The quality and results of your performance will improve. It has been tested well over that those companies with practice who we'll lean on the pillars and foundation of corporate governance succeed better. So compliance becomes very easy. So compliance with laws, compliance with the codes and internal best practices becomes an automatic thing. You don't need to be pushed. You optimize the use of your resources. Costs will come down, profits will go up, and then you find that you are serving, you are serving society you know, the moment your company's name is mentioned, people say, no, 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 with this one, we have no problem. Once you are leaning on those pillars, based on those foundations, crisis come, you will not be worried. You will be helped by others, and you will sail through. This is what has been tested. In fact, we call it, you build the adversity portions, adversity portions, of your company to a high level. Adversity question, question is um, the ability to respond to crisis. You lift it up.